Hundreds turned out in Baghdad to mark the funeral of the man that America says has orchestrated multiple attacks on its soldiers in the region. The commander was a hero to many here, a high-ranking leader of Qatab Hezbollah, one of Iraq's most powerful pro-Iran armed groups. The commander's targeted killing has been heavily criticized by Iraqi politicians and the public alike, and led to a fresh spike in anti-US sentiment. The constant calls throughout this funeral has been a demand for the US forces to pay for this, for revenge, for retaliation, and for the forces to leave Iraq altogether. The US drone attack on a busy street in East Baghdad is a serious escalation in hostilities in the region. It was called a clear-cut assassination by Iraq's army chief, with no regard, he said, for civilians, international laws or Iraq's sovereignty. America says the Qatab Hezbollah group carried out the drone strike in Jordan last month, killing three of its soldiers. This was part of its response. The spillover of violence from the Israeli bombardment of Gaza, now focusing on the incredibly overcrowded Rafa area, is stretching further and becoming more dangerous. The mounting devastation and deaths in Gaza have led to nearly 200 attacks against US troops in Iraq and Syria, with pro-Iran armed groups threatening more. I am very clear. Any place used to attack Iraqi people and Iraqi land is considered an enemy. Any hostile action from these American bases spread across the region will get a response from us. Tensions already high in the region are creeping even higher on a daily basis. This was reported to be a drone strike by Israel on a senior Hezbollah leader in southern Lebanon. All these armed groups in Lebanon, Syria, Yemen and Iraq are aligned with Iran and known as the Axis of Resistance and are bound by their distrust of America. There was much grief at the Iraqi funeral of the Qatab Hezbollah commander, but also a great deal of anger too. It was a barbaric, criminal attack what they did, and they acting like a mafia, not a military. Our revenge will be ten times what they did to us. If not today, then it'll be tomorrow. There's already mounting pressure from the Iraqi authorities for the few thousand US troops still in Iraq fighting the Islamic State to pull out, with those at the funeral continually telling us they can maintain security in Iraq on their own. This whole region is at its most volatile for years. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Baghdad.